Well, <laughs> with all the excitement of our first medals being dished out here, we uh, will keep bringing you all the action. And we're already up at the start of the final of the under-19 men's coxed fours. You can see the cox there just showing the dead weights. That's uh, if the, the coxes are underweight, they have to carry a weight with them. They all have to hit a certain requirement, which I believe is 55 kilos um, for the coxswains. Uh, they all have to weigh at least 55 kilos. Here's our start list for the final. France, Turkey, Germany, Italy, Australia. Australia, who are the reigning champions and two athletes returning into this boat to line up here again. Turkey on your screen and then the USA in lane number six. So there we have it, Turkey on the screen in lane number two, Ahmet in the bow seat, Erdem Ahmet and in the stroke seat, we've got Yusuf Zia Atez. So all a full contingent here, six boats. The Germans now on the screen in lane number three. Leon Grombach in the bow seat. Uh, Amadeus Maus in the stroke seat. Hopefully we'll see some good shots of all of our crews here contesting in this A final. Next up, we've got the Italians in lane number four. You can see there in the blue strip and we're underway here with our next final of the day. This is the Cox Fours and the World Throwing Under 19 Championships. And uh, a great strong start here for the Italians, but uh, like we say, the Australians out here to try and defend their title. So on form is the Italian crew, 6-19-99, a really strong performance from them. Uh, nearest to them then it's the crew from Turkey in second place when we were coming through, the Turkey crew coming through the repechage. Uh, the Italians and the German crew, the two crews centre of the course, who qualified directly from the heats into the final. So a little bit uh, easier progression for those uh, two crews and they'll have a little bit more uh, rest and recovery. And we're seeing the uh, Italian crew leading it out here they're still up at 41 strokes per minute the other crew's still up at 40 as well coming through 500 meters so they're really going for it here in the first quarter of the men's cox forward feeling the breeze here the strong uh, crosswind is really picking up it's getting very blustery here uh, shouldn't be any issue for the bigger boats but we'll see later on how it's going to affect the smaller boats uh, but back here with the men's cox four uh, impressive start here yeah, camilla for the italians yeah running in gold medal position at the moment the italians it's uh, uh, a strong start for them in the cox's seat ricardo donny uh, steering this crew in like what you've said richie a very strong cross breeze they won't be feeling that as much in this first thousand meters there's a sort of island on the left there you can see it's much narrower there's a bit more shelter but past the thousand meter marker they'll have a real challenge to try and keep themselves on track it's uh, then a real tussle for the podium positions here australia i think perhaps running in silver medal position as it stands but they're very tight on with the germans and with turkey as they move into this second 500 meters now what a beautiful sight this is to see all boats with overlap lots of opportunity for medals here and uh, it's all of them looking beautifully proficient here out on the water in Bessemer. And a perfect chevron yet again. So we're seeing that the seeding of the lanes from the earlier uh, heats and uh, repechages are playing into effect here with the Italians and the German centre course. The two that qualified from the heats, uh, but a really competitive race here uh, coming up with the Italians leading it out ahead, I think maybe, of the German crew in second place, Australia in third. All of the crews still reigning up in the high 30s. The Italians down at 36. Unusual to see the Italians uh, being outrated by the competitive crews were just looking at perfect conditions uh, here in the center of heart of the course even with the blustery conditions it's still looking really well on our Olympic and Paralympic course coming down the track here you can see the Italian crew they're over to the right hand side of their lane so they are having to compensate a little bit in the crosswind to uh, get down into the details uh, but uh, rowing very well here ahead of Australia now it looks like Australian crew have come through uh, Germany for silver medal at the moment but they're matching each other's stroke for stroke and within striking distance Turkey as well as the uh, USA crew nearest to us on screen in lane six as well the other only crew at the moment looking out of contention the French crew on uh, the far side in lane number one
Wow, this is going to be uh, some race here, all overlap, especially for the minor medals behind Italy currently. Uh, but we all know a race behind can cause compression at the front end. Now, this gold, the, this gold medal position currently sitting with Italy, just uh, one sort of experienced athlete from racing fours at the World Championships before, and in fact, that is uh, Meligari in the three seat was in the coxless version of this event, coming fourth at last year's championships. Now moving into this cox boat. They've pushed back out now. They were down to about half a length, but they've seen the danger. And uh, with 7.50 to go, they're now vying for a length lead ahead of Australia and Germany going for silver and bronze. And I think that's where the battle is going to be, that German and uh, Australian crews are going to be pushing each other on. We've seen in previous races when the chasing pack are in uh, the push for the line and trying to get either qualifying spots they can eat into any lead that a crew has put in and that's what we're seeing with the Australians now they're within uh, three quarters of a length of the Italians so the Italians coming under pressure now Australia in second place just by a canvas ahead of the German crew and in turn they have an overlap then the Turkey crew and the USA back in fourth and fifth at the moment Australia putting on a surge but we're seeing a response from the Germans now they're taking it up to 37 38 strokes per minute and they're responding and they've now moved into the silver medal position with 500 meters to go oh this is going to be such a wonderful race 500 meters to go i think turkey are also looking dangerous there in fourth position the european champions would expect to see a little bit more from them they've had such a strong regatta across the board in all boat types just one last push here in the final 500 meters to step onto that podium but germany have gone early here leonard wright in the cox's seat uh, pushing on amadeus mouse in the stroke seat there up to 36 strokes a minute the australians at 39 in an attempt to respond but it's not uh, translating into the boat speed they need at the moment as they slip further back turkey are coming back up for bronze yeah real race on here the italians have just changed gear to get back into a clear water lead they've taken it up now to 36 37 strokes per minute they're doing their rest to move out but look how close they are there to the boys they're steering with a little bit off getting affected by the uh, crosswind that's there coming in now with less to 250 to go looks like the Italians all the way the Germans surging now to take that silver medal position Turkey pushing the Australian crew but Australia respond we're just looking to see them come into our view here at the finish it looks like Australia might do enough to secure but Turkey take it up again they're up at 40 strokes per minute winding up for the line here in the final of the men's Cox four medals at stake between the crews from Italy Germany Australia what have Turkey left in the tank coming in towards the finish line really exciting finish for us here it is going to be the Italian crew powering home here to take the gold medal the German crew do just enough to secure it's all down to the line that we're just watching the Italians crossing the line taking gold it's going to be the German crew in second what a finish coming up to the line it looks like <gasps> photo finish oh I think it might be we're seeing the celebrations there the Italian crew the Cox getting up standing up in the boat we're just seeing um, the official results coming in. It was Turkey coming in to take the bronze medal. What an amazing 250 meters for that crew to come in and just pip the poor Australians in fourth place. Hardest of hard luck there. They did so much of the running along with the Italians and the Germans in the first half of this race. Turkey playing the long game there, just coming in, in towards the finish and just in the last 100 meters, taking up the rate into the 40s and powering home, passing out the Australians. So really fantastic race there. Our gold medalist Italy still standing up the uh, uh, the cocks of the Italian crew celebrating there uh, alongside the German crew silver medalists and heartache for the Australians you can see uh, just in fourth place there a really impressive from the Tur Turkish crew uh, to come in to uh, take that bronze medal fantastic racing Camilla